consejo que le daría a los estudiantes que salen de la escuela es que tengan mucha paciencia. A pesar de que parece pues, una carrera fácil, pues necesitas paciencia para confrontar todo. Desde el cliente hasta todas las cosas que te pasan, los imprevistos que te pasan a la hora de trabajar, sobre todo cuando trabajas con tiempo y tal. Pues eso, que tengan paciencia. I think the best advice for a young designer or creative professional today is to try and find something that is very unique to you. You know, design trends spread like wildfire. It's very easy to see a lot of the same stuff. So I think if there's something that you really love or something that you love to draw or something you're interested in, try and put that into your work and let that dictate the path that you take. Sobre todo que tengas fe en lo que ha decidido. Normalmente, si aplicas la pasión necesaria a un proyecto, eh, requiere de muchas horas y de mucho sacrificio. Esa pasión es el combustible para, para, para conseguir llevarlo a buen puerto. Patience is quite is a big thing actually, because I I thought I was I was like ah where's all my work? And looking back actually, it just it does take time to get you know paid work. But I'd always just encourage to like find opportunities yourself. Like things don't come to you. Knock on doors, keep making work, and then hopefully people will start commissioning you. Dedicación, dedicación, dedicación y dedicación. I'm personally, I'm not. Uh, I, I studied as an, in advertising, so I'm an art director. Uh, I, I studied uh, advertising and then I discovered branding. And I think uh, my advice would be that uh, branding gives you the opportunity to work in many directions, not only maybe the communications, but also many other things. So if they have to choose in between advertising or other disciplines I would say branding is the one that is more fulfilling because they will find for sure something within branding that they're going to like a lot. There's two things that I'm always trying to teach students to do and the first is to start making things by hand because when we make pieces for period filmmaking we're making things that would have been designed at a time before computers existed. If it was made by hand at the time, we need to make it by hand now. And the second thing I always try to get students to do is to not be afraid to copy and to be inspired by the world around you. So don't start with a blank page, but research and look at references and create things that actually come from something in the world, even if we take them into a completely different direction eventually. Never stop doing something and believe in yourself and uh, realize and do what you really do and be different. Yo creo que el mejor consejo es que intentes apañártelas para que tu trabajo te guste y que hagas todo lo que puedas para conseguirlo. Keeping it fresh and, and making it better every time, not to come to a standstill and, and just do the same thing every time, just keep on getting better. Be bold, be brave, take risk. Uh, our company strategy line is stretch and I think that's a really useful word to keep in your mind when you think how can I, how can I make tomorrow better than today. It's like just reach for things that you think aren't possible and, and keep trying and uh, absorb failure. Like I think don't be afraid of it and then when it happens, learn from it. Find uh, the thing you like the most and uh, try to be really good at it. And uh, that way you could be doing web design or web development at, at the highest level. Otherwise it's really, really hard and only few people are capable of, of doing so. Conocer mundo y que tenga ganas de crear proyectos propios y, y ponerte a jugar, a seguir descubriendo por fuera. Yo creo que el diseño no se aprende en, en la escuela. Lo más importante del diseño no se aprende en la in the school. As a creative, um, you need to be very open, collaborate a lot. I think that the core of, uh, of uh, being truly creative uh, is to be uh, open to everything that you can uh, see around you and, and use it for your, for your good. The best project that uh, we did was always when we collaborated with uh, more and more people, each of the person will, can bring something new to your way of thinking and uh, make you a better designer, uh, creator or whatever. I think uh, that uh, working with many people can, can really uh, push the boundaries uh, of uh, what's possible uh, by each person alone. Walk like two out the door, then you have been.